Welcome to SimTor Project, a new series on my channel where I hope to show off the sim racing setups of my viewers and give everyone inspiration and ideas regarding everything this hobby can offer. The idea is simple, you take a few photos of your setup, list out all of the components, send them to me and I'll feature them on my channel. I don't care how expensive or extreme your sim racing setup is, it could be a desk and a chair with a beginner wheel or a full blown quad monitor setup. As long as you follow the simple rules outlined in this video, I'll be featuring them in this series. For starters, you'll need something to take decent photos. Whether that be an expensive DSLR or a regular smartphone, it doesn't really matter as long as it can take a decent quality photo. The most important thing to keep in mind is that the photo is taken in landscape, which is horizontally, and has a 16x9 aspect ratio. iPhone cameras by default take photos at a 4x3 aspect ratio. If you have an iPhone, open the camera app, press the little arrow on top, then press this button right here, and press 16x9. If you're on an Android device or a different camera, the process should be similar. Just whatever you do, don't send vertical photos or photos that aren't in a 16 by 9 ratio. When taking these photos, keep your hands as steady as possible and take clean, sharp photos. I do not want to see any type of blur in them. Second, make sure you're in a well-lit environment. Turn on the lights and allow for a clear view of everything you have. If you want to take a few photos of your setup in the dark, you'll have the chance to do so, but more on that soon. While taking photos, make sure your entire sim rig is turned on and ready to go as if you were about to sit down and race. All monitors should be turned on and you should be running the sim racing title of your choice. Any dash displays, button boxes, RGB lights, etc. should be completely set up, plugged in, and turned on. Remember, I'm trying to show off your setup completely in action. When taking photos, please do not take photos way too close to the object. Always leave some space so that the subject doesn't take up all of the frame. Once you have all your photos and have transferred them onto your computer, go ahead and label those by number. This will greatly help me when editing everything together. Finally, try your best to make your setup as presentable as possible. Throw any trash away, wipe down anything that may be dirty, and just try your best to make everything look as tidy as possible. I don't want to see dirty dishes and plastic water bottles thrown everywhere. It doesn't have to be flawless, but at least try your best to tidy it up. Now that you understand that, here are all of the photos I'll need. The first is a frontal shot of your setup, which hovers slightly above the seat or chair. Everything should be visible in this shot with the exception of the back of the seat. Next, step back and take a frontal shot of everything including the seat or chair. This is mostly to show off the back of your seat and how it looks with everything else. Next, take a 45 degree angle shot of your setup, trying your best to fit everything into the photo. Then, take a 45 degree angle shot from the other side. Once you have those, take a top down photo of your setup. This doesn't have to be a perfect bird's eye view, but try your best to get up there. Number 6 will be a close up photo of your monitor or monitors. Take it at whichever angle looks best and make sure to not take it too close or too far away. Something like these examples is all I'm looking for. Then take a photo of the front of your seat. Number 8 is where you'll start taking photos of your hardware and we'll start with the wheel. Take a photo of your wheel directly from the front at eye level. Number 9, again it will be of the wheel but at a 45 degree angle from either side. Finally, number 10 will be a top down view of your wheel and wheelbase. 11, if you have a detachable wheel rim, take it off and take a photo of your wheelbase with no wheel rim. If you can interchange your wheel rim and have other wheels you want to show off, this is what number 12 is for. Take some photos of your setup with other wheel rims. If you have a few, label those photos 12.1, 12.2, etc. If photos 11 and 12 don't apply to you, ignore them. Photos in the 13s will be of your pedals. Take clear, well-lit photos of your pedals from as many angles as possible. Label any photos pertaining to your pedals as 13, 13.1, 13.2, etc. The 14s will be of any photos pertaining to shifters, handbrakes, sequential shifters, etc. Basically, any other hardware you use to control the movement of the car. Again, the more angles, the better. All photos in the 15s will be of any other miscellaneous sim racing hardware. Wind simulators, speakers, headphones, button boxes, dials, gauges, etc. Label all of those in the 15s. 
all photos labeled in the 16s will be dedicated to your PC or console. Take as many photos of the system powering your setup as possible. Taking off your PC side panel is not required, but highly recommended if you can't see the components inside it without it being taken off. Please note that you do not need to move your PC to take these photos. We're almost there. All photos in the 17s will be dedicated to your cable management. Take as many photos as possible showing off how you went about routing everything. Did you use cable ties? Is everything routed through a special compartment? Or are cables just dangling everywhere? It doesn't really matter, just make sure to take a few photos showing that off. 18 is optional, but if you think your setup looks better at night or at low light, feel free to share a few photos of it with the lights turned off. Finally, the photos in the 19s will be of anything miscellaneous that you believe add to your setup. This could be a flower, a collectible, a photo, a cup holder, a phone holder, etc. Basically anything that isn't sim racing related, but still part of your setup. This is also your chance to provide any photos of the rest of your room if you want. For example, if you have a cool man cave and want to show off its general surroundings, feel free to share that as well. This last one is optional, but feel free to send in a short HD video of your setup in action. Whether that be a short clip of you driving or showing off the ambient lighting of your setup, these short, no more than 30 second long clips, can be used to show off anything that photos just don't do justice. This is particularly recommended for people with motion platforms. Everybody, including myself, wants to see that in action. Now it's time to upload everything. Once you have all of the photos on your computer and properly labeled, head over to wetransfer.com. This is a completely free site with no sign up required that will allow you to easily send me all of the photos. Upload all your files and email everything to simtorproject at gmail.com. For the title, write the following, submission dash project. And the final super important step is going to be the message. Go down to the description of this video and copy and paste the message template. Then fill in as much as you can. Please do not include links, just include the name of the product. For any things that don't apply to you, simply delete it. For example, if you don't have a handbrake, just delete handbrake. Moreover, only fill in what you feel comfortable sharing. Things like age, gender, country, and occupation will give me something to talk about when sharing your rig but aren't necessary for you to answer. Once you successfully answered all the questions and have uploaded your files, click transfer and you're good to go. Everything will be sent to my email where I'll be able to access it. Please note that although I will try my absolute hardest to eventually feature every proper submission, I cannot guarantee that it will. So basically, if you follow all of these directions perfectly, I will most likely eventually feature it, but I can't necessarily give a 100% guarantee that I will. Also, please note that depending on how many submissions I receive, wait times could be anywhere from a week to several months, so please be patient. Submissions that feature anything inappropriate or go against any terms and conditions of YouTube will also be deleted and not considered. The same goes with submissions that do not properly follow the rules I've just outlined, so make sure to carefully follow these simple instructions before submitting. And remember, the idea of this series is to showcase your sim racing setup. I don't care if all you have is a beginner wheel and a plastic chair or a $10,000 setup. Assuming you follow the directions, you will have the same chance of being featured in this series. It's not intended to show off the most incredible and unattainable rigs, rather to show the variety of sim racing setups that are possible. So please don't feel discouraged simply because you don't have a multi thousand dollar rig. Feel free to leave any questions in the comments below and I'll try my best to respond. But with all that being said, I hope to receive your submission soon. Stay safe and have a fantastic rest of your day.